And here we have it. Godzilla has now been released on the PlayStation 4 in North America, and I couldn't, could I just couldn't be more excited. Now this has to be, has to be my game of the year. Well, not exactly. Okay, the gameplay, I don't give a shit how bad it is or how slow it is. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be decent fun. It's Godzilla on the PS4, and what gets me about this game is that we haven't had a proper Godzilla game since Godzilla Unleashed on the Wii and PlayStation 2. But the games that I remember growing up with, Godzilla-wise, was Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee and Godzilla Save the Earth. Now, if you guys look back on these games, just to see how far we've come, I understand it's not from the same developer, but there was always something off about these games. You know, being a huge Godzilla fan, I was always thrown off and, you know, kind of ticked off by the lack of authenticity with these games. There was something a little bit off when it comes to, like, the monster sound effects, the beam sound effects, in, more in particular, and their colors. There were, you know, some things that were just weren't accurate, like in the, you know, the game, like in the movies. But, you know, they came close enough, and being a huge Godzilla fan, guys would like to see a video on either one of these titles, please let me know in the comments below. I would definitely not mind doing one of those. So anyways, here we have a Godzilla on the PS4, and it's just simply called Godzilla here in North America. You see in Japan, they re-released the PS3 version for the PS4 and called it Godzilla Verse. And I remember first hearing about it, I was like, okay, the PS3 version is coming to North America. That should be cool. <clears throat> but Little by little, more information started leaking out about an expansion for the PS3 version in Japan, which usually happens anyways with fighting games. And it became a full-fledged, you know, s expansion with new monsters being added to it. And I'll tell you, once they added Space Godzilla in there, I was just like, I am sold. And if you pre-ordered this bad boy at GameStop, you also got a limited edition poster. I mean, just look at the poster it comes with. Just look at it! This is like a dream come true! And expect an unboxing for Nichiren Bana Z2 Chaos Limited Edition next week. When you pre-order the GameStop, you also get the Hollywood Godzilla from Godzilla 2014 and a cinema video filter below, uh, which is cool in its own right. Basically a black and white filter. So anyways, I decided to pick this up ASAP. I woke up early in the morning to give this unbox. If you guys would like specific monster battles between two monsters or three, let me know in the comments below which matchups you would like to see, and I'll be more than happy to deliver on those promises. Now, I'm not sure if this game supports custom soundtracks, but I really do hope it does. As you can see inside, no manual needed, just plain old Godzilla the game. Let's get to playing this and showing off some gameplay, if I can fit it in the video, if not, it will come in a separate video. And holy crap, where'd you come from, space? I didn't expect you for this video, it's been too long, my brother. Oh man, yo, chill out, man, I understand you haven't been in my videos in a long time, but look, I grew up from that, okay? People grew up from that, they don't want to see you anymore. Yo, you need to, you, you need to calm down. Yo, really? You need to calm, yo, chill, chill. Oh shit! Ah! 